So, hi, uh, Paolo Farnes. This is the second Mission Impossible reference uh, in one hour. Uh, I'm going to present the area of advanced um, transport and what we are doing in digitalization in seven minutes, which is uh, Mission Impossible, because digitalization is, of course, transforming the whole transport sector, not only manufacturing of vehicles, use of vehicles, but also the logistics, transportation side, the decisions that had to be ma has to be made and so on. So the resources you can see here, there will be a, a slide at the end with contact information for uh, the relevant projects I'm talking about. Uh, you can use your mobile phones and take a picture of it or you can get the slides afterwards. The researchers here, plus many more, uh, are being represented in the projects I'm showing you now. Uh, nothing's happening here. Uh, the first one, uh, just to say that I am no expert in these projects, so I cannot answer any detailed questions about them. I will give you some view of what, what's being done and you will get the contact information for uh, these experts. Uh, one of the projects I can ask the questions about. The first one is Professor Miroslav Staron. He works with software complexity and how to visualize that. And why is this relevant for the transport industry? Well, in uh, an autonomous vehicle, for instance, there are huge amounts of computers and software and there are uh, huge safety concerns as well. So how can we actually ensure when software complexity increases, how can we ensure that uh, the software is still safe, for instance? So that's a big part of the work he's doing is in assessing safety and controlling the complexity of software in different domains. Uh, the second one I'm showing you is about autonomous vehicles. It's the Coplar project, which has the ambition of, of um, applying autonomous driving between our two campuses here in Gothenburg. And uh, most of you may have traveled in the, uh, on the bus line between the campuses, know that the traffic situation is, can become very intense. And there are a lot of different challenges that you need to, to address in order to have a vehicle drive by itself uh, from Hissingen to, to Johanneberg or, or the other way around. So this is what this team is, is uh, working on together with companies, of course. Uh, then we have uh, prof uh, Associate Professor Balash Kulchar. He works in uh, optimizing traffic networks by, by, for instance, controlling traffic lights or controlling smart road signs and to see how can we ensure uh, reliability and safety in these traffic systems uh, and increase the flow and decrease the congestion by using smart models. Um, this work is carried out at Signals and Systems here at Chalmers. And the, the, the two examples here you can see is both urban and rural uh, examples and there are different types of problems in these two domains when we talk about traffic control. Uh, then we have another, another project where Dr. Selpi, I think I saw her here somewhere, so she may be here and can ask us some questions. There she is in the middle. Uh, she is using machine learning to understand the natural written language in accident databases. For instance, when a police officer reports an accident, he may say that the road was slippery, another one will say it was snow on the road, a third one will say uh, there was uh, snow in the area, and so on and so forth. And that information needs to be aggregated and understood in order to make sense of uh, what's actually behind an accident. And that's being done so that we can learn more about ac accidents and then prevent them in the future. Um, and the last one is the project, the family of projects I'm involved in. And this is connected to the freight transport industry and logistics and the need for good, high-quality, real-time decision-making. We heard the example of the Waze app here, which is a good example of uh, a system that actually enables me as a driver to m get a, a fairly high-quality decision-making uh, support in real-time so that I can switch lanes or change routes when I'm driving. We have two projects here. We have one EU project. We have a poster outside of that where we are looking into enabling the on the European level information sharing in, in the freight industry to become more efficient and thereby more sustainable. Uh, we also have smaller scale projects where we're looking at the access management here in, uh, at APM terminals in Port of Gothenburg. 
uh, to increase efficiency when haulage companies are picking up and leaving goods uh, in the port, which is quite inefficient as it is today. So all in all, it, it's about collecting, uh, processing, and then exploiting data in real time. And both of, uh, all of these three are very, very difficult because it's a physical industry, and a lot of things need to be done in the physical world as well. So that was really short. Here is the promised contact slide. Uh, you will get the uh, information, of course, in the, in the material after the conference. So thank you. Thank you.